Hi all, I'm DG on Hot Toys on YouTube channel. I got iOS 14 on my iPhone 11 Pro. Such a cool and beautiful home screen design with gates, app library, compact banner, and so many access beauty features. Such a make my iPhone powerful and easier to use. So in this video, I'm going to show you about health and its sleep mode. In iOS 13, bedtime mode is now replaced in sleep mode in iOS 14 and now let's start. So first of all open clock app and here you can see 4 tab only 4 tab in iOS 13 a separate bedtime tab between alarm and stopwatch but now here is you can see no bedtime tab. So at a glance it seems bedtime is uh, removed uh, on iPhone but not. It's in mode into alarm tab tap on alarm and here you can see plus icon to set a new alarm and a sleep section no alarm but now let's start tap on set up yes and you can see sleep is now in health once you have set up your new sleep schedule you can change your alarm in clock you can also set a sleep goal create a wind down routine and more set up in health and health up is open okay you can see sleep data attracts sleep so more in sleep before I have set up sleep more so you can see my sleep track in my health app so set up sleep tracking your sleep can help you understand your overall health so get started your device can help you get better sleep for better health the sleep schedule iphone can help you get get to bed on time if you set a schedule sleep mode is iphone can turn on do not disturb and cover the lock screen to limit distraction and protect your sleep wind down is new take time to slow down before bed you can set actions that help you relax so tap on next and here is a set a sleep goal with a goal health can recommend a bedtime and wake up alarm and will also keep track of your time in bed after you wake up health can let you know if you have hit your goal or not so in human life eight hours uh, sleep is better for health so i recommend eight hour health is possible uh, you can change and here i said Eight hours so tap next and set your first schedule here set your first schedule this screen you have gotten on our starting and here is into the health app wake up alarm alarm options turn off turn on you sound you sound you can change snooze and volume of volume down so from here you can move increase here from your bedtime schedule here is my bedtime is 10 pm and wake up is 6 30 and so now tap on add and my average time Bed time is set for 10 p.m. and wake up time is 6 30 a.m. You can have a different schedule for every day of the week. You can edit from here for day activities from Monday or uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, I, uh, week off. So, you want to wake up early on uh, Saturday and tap on done. So, some days are unscheduled, on days without a schedule, no alarm will go off, and other sleep features will not turn on. Add a schedule for other days. For other days, okay. 10 45 and it is 7 5 a.m. for Wednesday and Saturday. So tap on it, and here you can see for Wednesday and Saturday. Same way, you can see and add another schedule for another day and tap on next. Now it's a sleep mode. 
uh, sleep mode can simplify your lock screen at uh, your schedule bedtime it will also turn on do not disturb to reduce interruptions you can give uh, certain uh, callers permission to back through do not disturb in settings so enable sleep mode and this is new wind down sleep mode can begin before bed time to reduce this section and help you relax this also turns on do not disturb so enable wind or skip this you can set your own time 15 minutes 13 minutes by default this is 45 minutes and enable wind down wind down shortcuts also reducing screen time is one of the best things you can do before bed so if you use your iphone to wind down you can add apps and shortcuts to the lock screen to focus on relaxing and avoiding distraction set up shortcuts you can from here there are shortcuts podcast so hello and open podcast next so this is sweet dreams here is summary of your setup uh, you can change your schedule or these settings at any time in the half sleep goal is 8 hours monday tuesday thursday friday and sunday is a different bedtime and wake up time wednesday and saturday is a different features that are on sleep mode wind down for 45 minutes and with one shortcuts of uh, port cards which i have set up before and do not disturb also turns on at wind down so I'm tap done and this is our schedule so this is the new sleep mode sleep provides insight into your sleep habits sleep trackers and monitors can help you determine the amount of time you are in bed and asleep this device estimates your time in bed and your time asleep by analyzing changes in physical activity including movement during the night you can also keep track of your sleep by entering your own estimation of your bedtime and sleep time manually the in bed period reflects the time period you are lying in bed with the intention to sleep for most people it starts when you turn the lights off and it ends when you get out of bed the sleep period reflects the periods you are asleep so this is the and after that here month wise and week wise you can track your sleep for example my thursday sleep is bed start 11 24 pm and bed and 6 1 am on july 2 2020 similarly on Wednesday 11 free bedtime start and I wake up early 5 37 am so this is amazing all this thing you can access from control center open control center and here is a bedtime and do not disturb mode this is sleep mode start and sleep mode turn off so this is all about sleep mode in iOS 14 you guys thank you for watching and for any query or suggestion write down comment in the video and get more information in pinned comment and video description thank you for watching